Okay, guys and ladies, I am Mr. Marco Hirtla. I play Nightwish. Sometimes I do some solo stuff. And what you're watching right now is Loud TV. Indeed, coming pretty soon. I only had to rehearse the, the one album. The other one was rehearsed by some other people. But I mean, doing a double album where you got the band album, then orchestral album. Some people have been asking that, how do you as a bandmate, how do you feel about the orchestral album? It's the same thing as always. The biggest, obviously, when you look at the years and where we come from, biggest thing about Nightwish was obviously Thomas's songs and his lyrics. That's why the people stayed. No matter who was the vocalist or anything, they've stayed because of the quality of the songs. And that's why we have the success. If we want to put an orchestral album as a double album with the band album, it's his call. And I, I stand by him. Please love me, see how I bleed, please enjoy. I have such empathy in me. How nice, how beautiful in my yeah, the, because this time around she had a lot more, you know, time to take the input, was already, ha had done something with the band, so basically you get more confidence to put your own interpretation into things and all that, and that's what she of course had. And then when we did the Decades tour, we rehearsed a lot of that old stuff that not, well, four of us in the band hadn't played those stuff originally, not a guy to me, Troy and Flo. So, with the vocal trio, we kind of figured that if we want to put like some kind of our own mark and add something to the old ones, let's do some three-part harmonies with us who are already in the band. And it kind of fed the whole thing so that Thomas also started writing this new stuff. So that let's put in like our own harmony section. So most of the choruses are where all three of us are doing singing and all that and less like outside choirs and those things. So it gives it a little bit more of a personal sound. Also, the band is more up front in the mix. So it's more, more us, the band album now. Do you sing more on this album? Yeah. Definitely, yeah. I think we all sing more than in any of the albums. Uh, but for instance, there's only one song with lead for me. One song with Troy as a lead. But then we do the harmony piles again. So, and it's basically in every song. So there's a lot to sing. My inspiration, I used to grow with, maybe my biggest influences were by the end of 70s, it was a rainbow with Ronnie Dio and of course, Rob Halford as a metal singer, Freddie Mercury, these, these kind of, you know, original big ones, they were my biggest influences. Yeah, there's the, of course the orchestral stuff, the studios in, in London. We did most of the recordings there in Rusk uh, with our summer camp situation drums, we're in Petrax. And then the mixing, Finwox. And some little recordings there, I guess, as well. But I wasn't there anymore at the studio myself. Yeah, because there's a recording team and then there's two of us who, of course, wants to be at the mixing sessions and all that. So. I've visited them now and then and I've given my input when I've heard like tryout masters and all that. For instance, all that there is a little bit too much low end in the bass line, so if you narrow it down a little bit, bass drums will come more nicely and that kind of things. Um, so I give my input but I don't necessarily sit the long days in the studio without sun. Bass and vocals, that didn't take that long. I think bass was like was it day and a half again? Was it two days? Then something like a couple of days, three days, maybe doing all the vocal work. So no, no not really that much. He was checking some of the things, but he doesn't necessarily need to check everything. If he tr trusts my bass lines or trusts the guitar lines, usually there's a recording engineer that is stereo, and then we do things there. 
And Thomas checks up and he stays there a lot, but he doesn't necessarily need to check out everything. I guess he just wants to be there. It's nice to see your creation grow into its full glory. Um, kind of a concept, I think that it's more of a theme because there is, every song title is the connecting thing, not necessarily dealing with the same kind of things that we humans do or what nature t does or what we should do about it. Should we do anything? No, he was writing pretty much on his own this time. It was, he had this, I know because he told me that he had this weirdly productive season, started writing and then things just started coming out. And I was doing the solo stuff, so we kind of were doing different things at the same time. And then when I was asking him, do I need to send you a demo stuff? I got some leftover riffs. Actually, I got everything. Oh, okay. Then I'll keep these. They'll, they'll be the next one. <laughs> European thing is huge. Also the shows in stage, they're bigger venues than we've done, but there's less of them this time. And to be honest, I don't know what the organizational reasons are for doing less because I'm not the management or the booking agency and I don't want to touch that side of things. I hate goddamn bureaucracy and pushing papers and pens. Oh well, yeah, well, alcohol used to be a nice way to kill time, but I don't do it anymore. So these days I got a lot of nice video games and on iPad and Nintendo Switch. And then I got books on the iPad as well. A few hundred of them these days already. 